The digestive system consists of the mouth cavity or the buccal cavity, pharynx, esophagus, the stomach, duodenum, the ileum, rectum and cloaca. The mouth leads into a wide buccal cavity bounded by upper and lower jaws. A set of vomerine teeth is present in the buccal cavity. A row of maxillary teeth are present in the upper jaw and the lower jaw is devoid of teeth. The teeth prevent the prey from escaping and not for mastication. The tongue is sticky, protrusible, muscular and bifid at its tip. The tongue is folded backwards when not in use. The buccal cavity is followed by the pharynx. The pharynx leads to the esophagus. The esophagus ends in the stomach. The stomach leads to the initial part of small intestine called the duodenum. The duodenum leads into ileum which runs as a coiled tube followed by the rectum which is continued and ends in the cloaca. The cloaca is a common opening for three systems namely digestive system, excretory system and reproductive system. Digestion the proteins are digested in the stomach by the enzymes secreted by the gastric glands. Bile helps in the digestion of fats. Pancreatic enzymes help in the digestion of proteins as well as carbohydrates. All carbohydrates, starch, are converted into simple sugars. All fats are converted into fatty acids or glycerol. All proteins are digested into amino acids. Proteins are converted into amino acids. The end products are absorbed in duodenum, small intestine and large intestine by Wiley. Then they reach all parts of the body through blood. The undigested food materials are sent out through cloaca. Digestive system of man. The digestive system of man includes mouth, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and anus. The glands attached to the digestive system are salivary glands, mouth, gastric glands, stomach, liver and pancreas. Small intestine, wall, also secretes intestinal juice, mouth. It is also referred to as buccal cavity. It has three important organs namely the teeth, tongue and salivary glands which are surrounded by upper and lower jaw. The food is cut and ground into paste with the help of teeth. Tongue has a lot of taste buds which identify the taste of food. Salivary gland secretes saliva. It helps to soften the food. The mouth opens into buccal cavity. Buccal cavity opens into pharynx. Pharynx divides into two tubes, namely trachea, windpipe and esophagus, food tube. Esophagus. This is a muscular tube which joins the pharynx and the stomach. The muscles push the food through the esophagus by their contraction and expansion called peristalsis. Stomach. It is J-shaped enlargement of gastrointestinal tract. The wall of the stomach secretes gastric juice. This helps in the digestion of proteins. The anterior portion of the stomach is the continuation of esophagus, small intestine. The stomach opens into the small intestine. This is made up of duodenum, jejunum and ileum. The intestinal wall secretes intestinal juice. It helps in the digestion of starch, fats, etc. Liver secretes bile. Pancreas secretes pancreatic juice. All gets mixed with the food in the small intestine. All complex food are digested in the intestine. A number of phyllae are present in the small intestine. They are the organs of absorption. Large intestine. This is the last part of alimentary canal. Excess water is reabsorbed. The undigested solid waste is temporarily stored. 
the undigested remains of the food pass into the rectum in the form of feces, which is sent out through anus. This is called egestion, heart of frog. The heart of the frog is a three-chambered muscular organ. It has two auricles and one ventricle. Auricles are separated by interauricular septum. Auricles and ventricles are separated by auriculoventricular septum. There are two pores connecting right auricle with ventricle and left auricle with ventricle. There are valves to stop the back flow of blood into auricles. The blood vessels bringing blood to heart are precaval vein, postcaval veins and pulmonary vein. The pulmonary vein brings oxygenated to the left auricle. The other two precaval and one postcaval vein joins to form sinus venosus and open into right auricle. From the auricle, the blood is pushed to ventricle by the contraction of auricles. Ventricles receive both pure blood and impure blood. So the blood is mixed in ventricle. Supply of blood. This is done by a large blood vessel called truncus arteriosus. It starts from the ventricle. There is semilunar valve to regulate the blood movement. The truncus arteriosus splits into two branches and forms many arteries. They take pure blood to various organs. Spiral valve is present inside the truncus arteriosus which regulates the flow of blood and supply equally to both sides. The ventricle wall is thick to push the blood into truncus arteriosus forcefully. Structure of human heart The human heart is made up of cardiac muscles. It consists of four chambers. It is protected by the double-layered pericardium. The upper two chambers are called auricles. The right auricle is separated from left auricle by interauricular septum. The lower two chambers are called ventricles. The right ventricle is separated from left ventricle by interventricular septum. The wall of the ventricles are thicker than auricular wall. The auricles and ventricles are separated by auriculoventricular septum. But the two upper auricle and lower ventricles chambers are connected by two apertures or openings. They are called auriculoventricular apertures. These are guarded by cuspid valves. The bicuspid valve is present in between left auricle and left ventricle. The tricuspid valve is present in between the right auricle and right ventricle. Blood vessels. Pulmonary vein, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava and coronary sinus are those blood vessels which bring blood to the auricles. The pulmonary veins bring pure oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left auricle. The other three vessels bring impure blood from various parts and empty them in right auricle. Blood supply. There is a blood vessel called pulmonary artery. It starts from right ventricle. It has a semilunar valve to prevent backflow of blood. The aorta is the largest artery starting from left ventricle. It branches into many arteries and supplies pure blood to all parts. The pulmonary artery takes the impure blood to the lungs for purification. A semilunar valve is present in the aorta too. Valves prevent the backflow of blood.